people from all ages and backgrounds came out to reflect on the events within the last month and to repay respects for those who are now gone. From dancing to singing, more than 200 people came out to see Gwen Carr in New London Monday night. Carr is the mother of Eric Gardner, who died after an NYPD officer put him in a chokehold in 2014. The video of his death distressing as he gasped the word, I can't breathe. Now, six years later, the same words repeated by George Floyd in Minneapolis. After protests so and years of struggle, Carr alongside now, lawmakers and activists helped pass an anti-chokehold law criminalizing the use of chokeholds in the state of New York. The NAACP of New London wants similar bills passed here in the state. If there's an officer involved shooting, that's investigated by the attorney general. Here in Connecticut, it's investigated by a partner prosecutor who knows the players. And so there is still that air of a conflict of interest. I guess, thank you, thank you, thank you. Carr says her worst days wasn't finding out her son died. First day of my life was when we went to the cemetery and I had to leave him there. And he didn't walk out that cemetery with me. I spoke with Carr after her remarks, and she says hearing George Floyd's words of I can't breathe brought everything back. Oh, it was like an echo from the grave, and it was such a dark feeling to see that the police are still killing our children, and it was not a good feeling at all. Carr says besides the anti-chokehold bill, there's so much more we haven't seen. So I got the STATA law passed. When you kill our innocent children, we want to know the names, the race, the circumstance. Was he mentally ill? What was his age? We want to know it all. Why is this child dead? Now, Carr says it's time to move forward, even when some say it's not comfortable to talk about race or police reform. It's not uncomfortable for me to have that conversation because it is real. And the only way that we are going to bring people together actually is to heal hearts and change minds. And all the training in the world is not going to help if we don't do that first. And people here say that the demonstrations that we've been seeing across the nation and here in Connecticut are about valuing human life and how we as a nation see it. Carr says going forward that now is the time to start having demonstrations turn into legislation. In New London, Brian Ditlake, Fox 61 News.